Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH, and this is kind of part two of my Apple Watch uh, series of videos, or impressions, hardware review, whatever. <clears throat> because really, this is a two-component thing. You have the watch itself, which I recorded the video for just a bit ago here. And then you have the Apple Watch app itself for your phone because you still do need to use the phone for initial setup and a lot of configuration and some tasks. So, you know, I showed you the interface, showed you some of the stuff on the, on the watch itself. Now let's take a look at the Apple Watch app. So, app switcher, again, watch, active. The beautiful Swipe thing. up with three fingers to close the app. <laughs> Voice over is now over AirPlay again. Huzzah. Let's go in watch, here. Active. Watch. Watch. My watch. Now, Heading. Immediately, first thing you notice, and the first thing that I was wondering the whole time I was setting up my watch. Look at how beautiful this app interface is. Mainly regarding color scheme. This is Apple's own app, just like the, you know, for the OLED screen and the dark, you know, the dark backgrounds on the watch itself. Look at how nice this for this text and background color is in the Apple Watch app. Why don't they add a full dark mode to iOS? Use this exact gray and black color scheme. You know, especially with the OLED iPhone 10 that's going to be out soon. I really wonder why they didn't do it because this looks great. If I could just set iOS to look like this, Apple, you've proven, like even on the home screen, when I, you know, when I go to the home screen App. and I say, let's Weather. do a spotlight, spotlight. Search, search field is editing, watch selected, character well, mode, similarly actions there. available, like use the rotor to access misspelled words. So you, you know, you can't tell me you can't do it. App Store. You already have a design. Double tap to app switcher. Right watch there active. That you can use, watch. you just stubbornly watch. choose not to. Um, mini rant aside, let's get into the real business here. So along the bottom, you have your different tabs. Selected, my watch, tab, my watch. one of four, face gallery, tab, two of face four. Face gallery. App store, tab, three of four. App store. Search, tab, four of four. And search. So the main ones we're really going to be playing with is the my watch category for the most part. Let's kind of work backwards here. So search, search. tab, four. Um, this Search, is heading. where, like, I think I can choose, like, app, like, I can look for apps that support the watch in the App Store, but I can also... Trending, heading, App Store, search, tra sleep tracker, Apple Watch, button. Sleep tracker. Watch faces, button, calculator for Apple, YouTube, button. <laughs> YouTube for Apple Watch? Really? Music, button. I don't think the official app does, but maybe there's a third-party app that does. I don't know... That would be a really small YouTube screen, and that would probably kill your battery. I don't think I'd want to do that. Google button. Google. Shazam button. You know, Shazam, let me actually... Shazam, search field. I kind of want that. Double tap to edit. You know, again, I, if I could just hold my watch up and like, what is that song? I think I'm going to grab that. Uh, Shazam, discover music, video and lyrics, four and three quarters stars. Fifth, Shazam Encore, music, four and three quarters stars, one rating, button. I guess I don't know what the difference between Shazam... Shazam, discover music, video and Shazam, Shazam Encore, Encore, music, page two of two. I'll look at that later, though, um, for the sake of this video. Shazam, search field. We're field. not going to do Double tap to edit. that. Let's pop back over to my... Photos, collections, back button. No, not my photos. Uh, Shazam, search field. Hang on. Double tap to edit. App switcher, watch, active. Watch. Watch. There was supposed to be a Shazam, back search field. button here. Shazam, discover, Shazam, page one of two. Shazam, search field. Clear text. Shazam. Discover music, video, okay, and lyrics. My watch. Tab. App Store. Here. Tab. So three. App Store. Selected. App Store. Tab. tab. Three of four. New features. Starbucks. Top of your card on Apple Watch. Button. Okay. So there's a Starbucks. So again, th I'm going to pay attention to this uh, this tab a little bit later just because I want to find additional things that I can do with my watch because I'm, you know, it's a new toy. I want to be able to do cool things with it. Um, View Ranger, hiking and cycling trails, button. Okay, hiking. Zones for training, heart rate zone training, button. Okay. Page two of five, map my run by Under Armour, GPS okay. running and workout tracker, map sweat, my... calories and asphalt, 
Track exercise and nutrition. Track heading. Exercise. Sweat. Calories and that's fitness. A fit workouts and meal. Jillian Michaels training. Hey Siri. Ellipsis. Heading. Okay. What else can we do? Streaks. They have it for me to do list. Remind me to walk the dog in 15 minutes and streaks. Button. Okay. So like a to do to do list. Page three to five. Thing. Streaks. They have it for me to do there list. There are even some I um Apple Watch games. I don't know what the what types they are. If they're like little text things or if they work on motion. I don't know, but that's something I'm also curious about, and I'm going to look into, because like I said on my Apple Watch video, I did the, I you know, I haven't ran it yet, but I have the Pokemon Go app on there. Take a moment. Heading. Headspace. Guided meditation. Calm meditation. Mindfulness and sleep stories. Yeah, so here's some kind of meditation stuff. Quick fix games. Heading. Yeah, let's see what games we got here. Micropolis. Idle City Building Soap Game. Button. Oh. Oh, you know what? That would actually be... Those idle tappers, like you're in a meeting and all you have to do is keep tapping your, <laughs> keep tapping your wrist to do like the idle clicker games. I could see where that would work. Okay. Page four or five. Field day simulation button. No idea. Lock the block arcade button. Okay. Quartz middle dot news in the hole. Never miss a headline heading. Okay, so we got news apps. USA Today latest world get the score heading. ESPN live sports and scores. Watch okay. games highlights and news button. I. I'm trying to remember. I think the Vikings app supports the. I'm trying to remember if I got. Um. I'm trying to remember if I got notifications just on my phone or if I got them on my watch. I think I did get them on my watch though. Page five hundred five. MLB. Com. The score. Sports news and scores. Work smarter. To do is organize your life. OmniFocus two. Your life. Redeem. Button. So yeah, you got a few page, different page, apps page highlighted here page that you can play with. Um. So that's your. App Store gives you some ideas. I'm going to have to download some additional apps here so I can put them on like Shazam and a couple others I might want to play with. Face Gallery, tab, two Face four. Gallery. Now this Face is gallery, where heading. on the other video, remember I told you that you have all these watch faces and if I was panning to the left, you started to see some of them. Now you can see this whole grid of what we got here. So Explorer, complication, count, phone, maps, weather. So phone maps weather. Those are the complications for this. Explore. Complication. Explore. Count. So phone. Like maps. Weather. Watch face. Siri. Complication. Count. Siri. Date. Count. Siri. Date. Um, so yeah, this is your Siri watch face. If I were to go into Siri. Selected. Face gallery. Back button. It, do, it gives you a little description. With this face, Siri takes a look at your day and displays information that's timely and helpful. It might be your next appointment, a reminder, or the traffic on your way home, and you can tap to get more information. You can also turn the digital crown to scroll through your day. Actions available. So, I like the idea of this, but as a low vision user, at a glance, like if you actually look at that, let me look at even the screenshot there in the upper left, your time in that is so small. And there are a lot of times where I do just want to check the time with my watch. And with this giant blue that I have on my wrist right now, I'm wearing it right now. Um, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm foregoing some of my immediate other, you know, notifications that I'm seeing on my wrist. But I can easily get to them with the dock or Siri or whatever. Um, so I kind of choose not to use the Siri face. But now under the description for all these, you have... Complications, heading. Complications, and so this this particular face, I can have two complications at a time, because I see there's a list of two. Top left, Siri, heading. Top left, Siri. Top right, date, heading. And if I were to double tap on those, I could switch those, and so maybe I want Siri. Top, complicate, top left, Siri, heading. Top right, date, but heading. But if I wanted something other top than right, date, date, heading. I could use my picker here. Cap T, Cap T. Uh, Tango. But I'm going to back out of that. Face gallery. Um, heading. So, you know, you can customize even some of the watch faces that are there. Kaleidoscope. Complication. So kaleidoscope Count. One. Breathe. Heart rate. Date. Pedometer. Complication. Count. Pedometer. A little pedometer Music. thing. Music. Complication. Count. Now playing. Complication. Count. Activity. Breathe. Date. Now playing. Okay. Activity analog. Rings. White. Complication. Rose so 3 I to 6 to 20. One that really, like, if you really want to... Focus on your uh, activity. activity analog rings. Just white like selected activity, face gallery uh, back button app there. It's oh that's kind of a neat thing. So it's like your traditional clock face, but instead of an actual clock, it's your actual. You have the rings, so you can still kind of look down where the hands are. But you know, yeah, that's kind of a neat thing, I suppose. And I can choose which you know some of them. Some of these things you can choose the colors that you want. So below the description, in addition to my complications, I have colors Color, that I can white, choose heading. from. 
Um, so let's Face go gallery, back. Heading. Let me go show Astronomy. you my large rows five to nine of twenty. I have set. Rows eight to eleven of twenty. Um, let's rows eleven to fourteen of rows eight to eleven of twenty. Rows eleven to fourteen of twenty. Rows fourteen to seventeen of twenty. Uh, rows sixteen to nineteen of twenty. Where the heck is it here? Rows seventeen to twenty of twenty. X large, royal blue. X large, light pink. So you have these different X colors. Large, so pop, X large, royal blue. Royal blue. Selected. Face gallery. And back I button. can choose. You see, there's like probably what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, there may be more to spin, but I can choose. I like blue, so I chose mine to be blue, um, and that shows up really well. Super easy to see, and there you go. So Face that's gallery. Kind of how complications work. You can configure those on the phone itself, and then it just kind of beams over when your watch is nearby. So that is your watch. Selected. Face gallery. Tab. Your two of four. Gallery. My watch. Tab. One of my now watch. Now heading. My watch. This is where the meat of what you're doing is. So Jesse's Apple Watch. 42 so millimeters. I have my Apple Watch. 42 millimeters. Space gray. I've got my watch faces. Explorer. IV. Red. Now, if I wanted to, I could. I don't know how much space these actually take up. If I wanted to, and I didn't want to have all these watch faces installed, I could manually remove them. But since it just sits there and I don't know how much space it takes up, I just leave them. But I could manually choose, like, I really hate this watch face. I could just zap it all together from my watch. Um, but then below... Complications button. So complications... Notifications button. Notifications. So these are all, like, different types of settings. App layout button. App layout. Dock button. Dock. Rows 6 to 20 of cellular, general, button, general, cellular, button, cellular, brightness and text size, sounds and haptics, passcode, button, privacy, button, activity, bu breathe, button. So now we go down, there's another little section here for activity, apps that I button. have installed. Breathe, uh, breathe, activity, activity button, breathe, button, breathe, button, calendar, button, clock, button, contacts, but health, button, heart rate, button, mail, button, maps, button, messages, button, music, button, phone, button. Photos button. Wallet and Apple Pay yeah, button. Rose twenty five to thirty nine. Down. Nike Plus Run Club button. Nike Plus Run Club. I don't have any of that installed on mine. I don't think. I don't know where that came App from. Installed on Apple Watch. Heading. Apple Store. Installed, installed on, on Apple, Apple Watch. Watch. Heading. Apple Store button. I could put the Apple Store on there, which actually I might, just because if I want to shop for something else or get a notification. Dark Sky button. What? Apple installed on Apple Watch. Heading. Oh, installed. Oh, I said. I thought it said not installed. Okay. Dark Sky. Button. Dark Sky, because I'm like, I have Dark Sky on there. I know I got it because I did the notifications. Lift. Button. Lift. Pandora. But pedometer plus Pokemon Go. Transit. So you button. saw these on my other video. Rose 37 to 52 of 52. Down further, capital One. Now these are not available on apps. There. Heading. Available apps. Capital One. I have Capital City One. Mobile. City Mobile. Cub. Discover. Downcast. Fly Delta. Jimmy John's. Keynote. Messenger. My Verizon. PowerPoint. Timecrest. And I'm just scrolling down. Uh, I could flick, but then I would have to go to... Install button. Transit MSP. Install button. So I'm just going down the list. But so and ne to the right of any of these apps, I can just hit, hit install, and boom, it'll just synchronize, and it'll automatically get these apps onto my watch. TurboTax. Transit MSP. Timecrest. PowerPoint. So there you go. And that is really it. Rose 27 to four, rose 14 to 29 screen, to 52. But if I go into these in more detail... Complications. So button. complications... Selected. I'm not going to watch everything Back button. here, but... Dark sky. Lift, pedometer, Pokemon Go. So there's some settings in some of the installed apps where I can go in and configure certain things how I want them to behave. For some complications, of these apps. notifications button. Notifications selected. My watch. Similar back button. Thing. Notification alerts appear on Apple Watch when you're wearing it and it's unlocked, and you won't get alerts on your Apple Watch if you're actively using your iPhone. To view missed notifications, swipe down on your watch face. Okay. Notifications indicator on. Yep. So double I tap want to toggle that. setting. When this is on, notification details will only appear when you tap on an alert. Wait. When this is on, a red dot will appear at the top of your watch face when you have unread notifications. Okay, yeah, so I'm looking at my watch right now, and it does, and it's got a little blue thing, which means, oh, that's my little sleep, or my do not disturb. <coughs> but if I, I have seen that, if there's a little red dot up there. Notification privacy, notification, notification privacy, privacy, off, activity, button, Br calendar, button, breathe, button. So again, for all the apps I have installed, seven to I can, just like my phone, I can say, how do I want these to be... Which apps do I want to? Maybe I want the apps on my phone, but I don't care about notifications for specific ones. Mirror iPhone alerts from all state on. Okay, so now yeah, double tap to toggle mirror. setting. Okay, so that's that's probably how I get. Rose twenty to thirty six of rose thirty four to fifty of fifty four. Rose forty to fifty four of rose forty to fifty four of fifty four. Tons of these, so I may not have watch apps, but I can at least get notifications. Notifications over. button app layout button. 
So now app Selected. layout, this My is watch. where Back the honeycomb thing, the old, which I don't bother with because now that we have that list view, yay, list view, I like that much better. But if I wanted to, I could drag like the order, you know, I call it, like I said, the beehive view, like and kind of arrange these how I want to. But to me on a small screen like that, it just, it just looks like a cluttered mess. I know you're trying to be artsy. I know you don't want just like a simple list or you don't want to, you know, make your, your Apple, you don't want to make things look plain, but you know, you guys got to think functionality over flashiness. And thankfully I came in just at the right time for iOS or uh, uh, watch OS four and we have list view. So I'm not going to go into this much detail on here because frankly, for the most part, like I don't care what the order is. World clock. Can, double tap and hold, then drag to reorder apps. So I can double tap and drag, but I'm going to, I'm going to ignore that for now. App layout button. Um, App layout dock button. The dock. Selected. My watch. Back so button. what I can also do. Selected. Recents. I have mine set to recent right now. So anytime I use an app, it'll be in reverse the reverse chronological order. Um, so when I hit the, you know, the side button, I can bring up my list there or favorites. I can designate certain apps to be my favorites and then only those will stay in my dock. So you have a couple of different choices. And so for me, um, you know, and you can like under the recent apps, if you don't want it to show up there, I can swipe up or down with my rotor kind of thing on the watch itself and just say dismiss or clear. And then that recently app, that recent app, like let's say I don't use my heart monitor app too often, but maybe every once in a while I want to check it. I can go into the app and then it'll go into my recently used dock. But if I don't care and I'll just, you know, swipe up and say, yeah, get rid of it for now. Um, so, but you can do things like that. So that's pretty straightforward. Doc, general, button. General, I do want Selected. to go into the My accessibility watch. Back stuff for you guys here. About, button, software update, button. So software update, I can, that's where, of course, I get any updates. Automatic app install, I on. those yet. When this is on and you have app, automatic app install, on. When this is on and you have apps on your iPhone that also work with Apple Watch, those apps will automatically install and appear on your home screen. I don't know if I want, mm, I don't know if I'm going to leave that enabled or not. Um... Airplane mode, button, do not disturb, emergency SOS, button, watch orientation, left wrist, button. So I wear it on my left wrist. Accessibility, button, language and region, button, Apple ID, button. And Apple ID. Rows 10 to 16 of 18, background app refresh, button, Back. enable handoff, on. And the handoff lets you start something on one device and instantly pick it up on other devices using your iCloud account. The app you need appears in the app switcher on your iPhone and in the dock on a Mac. Okay. Nightstand mode, on. You can use Apple Watch as a nightstand clock when it's charging on its side. In nightstand mode, the time is displayed horizontally and the screen gently brightens in the minutes leading up to an alarm set on your Apple Watch. So there you go. There's a good example. Uh, I talked a little bit about it in the last video, but um, that is your, uh, yeah, that's your nightstand mode. Pretty good description. Enable screenshots, off. When this is on, you can take a screenshot of your Apple Watch display by pressing the side button and the digital crown at the same time. Screenshots are saved in the camera roll on your iPhone. Okay, so you can actually do screenshots. It's not enabled right now, which is fine because I took rows 13 don't to 18 of 18. That. Enable screenshots. Workout power saving mode off. Okay. Turn off cellular and the built-in heart rate sensor during walking and running workouts to extend battery life. Calculations for energy burned in some workouts may be less accurate. Bluetooth connected heart rate monitors are not affected. Okay. Usage button reset. Button. And I can do usage, usage and reset. Button. So that's all the same. Let's go rows back four to, to 14 of 18. Language and region accessibility. We definitely button. care about that. Selected. General. Back button. Vision. Heading. So on voiceover. Vision, we on. Voice button. over. Now if I go into voiceover. Voiceover. Accessibility. Now back button. we get settings. We can voiceover speaks items off. on the screen. Speaking rate. Heading. And we can do speaking rate. Speaking rate. Seventy percent adjustable. So I have mine at seventy. Swipe up or down. Voiceover volume. Head. Voiceover volume. Eighty percent adjustable. And it's at eighty. Swipe up or down with one right finger now, to adjust the value. Pretty loud. Um, Tap tick time on button. Oh, I didn't show you this on the last video, but what's cool is let's say I don't even have to have the screen um, awake, but if like my, I'm holding my phone here in my one hand, but if I tap my, if I tap my watch twice with the screen off, oh, why didn't it do it? <laughs> yeah, go to sleep. Let me try it here again. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I've had a little bit of trouble getting it to work on occasion. But what's really neat is you can get a taptic time. So like you double you you tap it a certain way and then it won't talk, but it'll it'll do like 
short vibrations for your hour. So let's say three o'clock, you know, or three fifteen. It'll do like three short ones, and then it'll do like one long one, and then five short ones again. So it's kind of like a little. It'll tell you how what the time is without being disruptive. That's a neat feature. I like that. Speak hints on. Speak on wrist raise off screen curtain. Speak on wrist so raise speak off. on wrist raises double off, tap to toggle which setting. I like because as a low vision user, um, I don't need voice, especially with my big watch face. I don't need necessarily voiceover to speak every time. I can literally lift my wrist and the screen will come on, and I can view the time. It's three thirteen right now, and <clears throat> you know it's the boom. That's it. It doesn't say anything until I touch it. Screen curtain off. Lows one to activate. Just like on your phone. Speak seconds button. Speak seconds button. And speak seconds if you want to, which I don't. So yeah, there's where Voice again, over. I think on. the maybe the volume and the speed could be sliders that should be included under the watch's voiceover settings on on itself. Full um, text on. What do we got zoom, here? Voiceover. Zoom off button. So we got zoom. Let's see what under options. Selected are in accessibility. Here. Maximum 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 zoom level. Five dot zero X adjustable. Okay, Swipe so up or down with one finger to adjust the value. Zoom too. Okay, that's interesting. Double tap two fingers to zoom. Okay. Drag two fingers to move around the screen. Double tap two fingers and drag to change zoom. Okay, so it's basically like the uh, iOS stuff, except it's two instead of three fingers again. So that's that's fine. Okay, we'll go back zoom. out of that. Zoom. Grayscale off. Can Double tap to scale? toggle setting. Bold text on. Bold text. Double tap to toggle setting. I did. Reduce motion off. But reduce transparency on slash off labels off. Side button click speed default button. So side button you can adjust that. To enable health and fitness features designed for wheelchair activity, edit the wheelchair preference in the health section of my watch. So that's cool. Like under the health section, that's really cool that you can even do fitness goals if you're in a wheelchair or maybe you're just using your arms. That's really cool. I, I'm I'm impressed that they added that they've had that for a while. I, that's neat. Okay, so my watch back button accessibility language and re Apple ID but background yeah, refresh. Yeah, so I mean button. that's kind of your general my watch, stuff. Brightness and text size, sounds and haptics. Sounds button. and haptics. Cellular. I mean, a button. lot of this other stuff. Rose ten like to twenty five or fifty two. Um, Rose eight I don't to twenty four. Go cellular in case it gives my phone number. Privacy passcode sounds passcode. and activity button Br calendar um, button breathe button activity button. But I can go into any of these apps here. Heart rate button health button. And I can mail button. You know, like, let's say I want to look at my activity. Well, let's... I can activity, activity button. Selected. My watch. Back button. Oh, okay. When this is on, you'll receive a reminder to stand if you've been sitting for the first 50 minutes of an hour. Yeah. So there's my stand reminder. When this is on, you'll... Daily coaching. On. Daily coaching. Double so tap like, to toggle say setting. So you're really close to filling up one of those circles, which I was last night. You can get a notification of like, hey, you're really close. You might want to get up and try to, you know, close it. And sometimes, you know, that's kind of helpful. Sometimes, you know, like, okay, I'll do it. It kind of gives you a little extra encouragement there. Goal completions. On. When this is on, you'll get a notification when you reach your move, exercise, and stand goals, or an awards for achievements. Yeah, I like that. Special challenges. On. When this is on, you'll receive notifications about special achievement awards you can earn by completing a challenge. Hmm. Okay. Activity sharing notifications. Off. When this is so on, you'll get a notification when some rows 1 to 5 of 5. I don't know how you set that up to share with people, but I think you can do that either through, like, the health or activity app somehow. Haven't played with that, but, you know, activity if you button. want it. There's not a lot else to Rose say. One to about Rose one to six or fifty-two. App, but, app store. You know, there you go. It's a nice interface <coughs> for adjusting and configuring and updating and you know setting up the watch. Uh, works very well. You know, again, I was really pleasantly surprised to see this really nice dark background, dark color mode in the whole watch it app itself. Excuse me, watch app itself. And I would love to see that come throughout the rest of iOS. Hint, hint. Um, anyway, that I think will conclude our first look and impressions at the Apple Watch. So, you know, if you've ever been kind of thinking about it in general or as a voiceover or low vision user, this should give you hopefully some more information, some more, you know, things to consider, good, bad, and otherwise. Uh, whether you might want to do it. You know, it's kind of an expensive tool. Um, would I say that it's absolutely necessary? Maybe not. Um, but in a, way, in a lot of ways, it can be convenient. Um, and like I said, having been, I've used it now for a little over a week, and 
I've kind of regularly been using it and referring, you know, to the device for a lot of different little things. So uh, if it is something, you know, I, like my coworker kept telling me, you know, he used to work at the Apple store a little bit as well. And he's like, you know, you can buy it and return it in 14 days if you don't, if you don't like it, you know, money for any, no, you know, no strings attached, you know, bring it back in 14 days. If you don't like it, you don't want it. And, uh, yeah, so far I really haven't had any buyer's remorse getting a lot of use out of it, and I kind of like the watch. So, hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, uh, at BGFH79, and all the other usual stuff. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys again later.